listeners, welcome to the Mother Days podcast. I'm Teresa Palmer. And I'm Sarah Wright Olson. Hi, guys. Hi. Um, we have a solo episode for you, and we are so excited. And if you can tell by Teresa's backdrop, if you're watching this, yes. she's back in the USA. <laughs> USA, USA, USA. It feels so good. It feels really good. It's always an adjustment period. But um, uh, I have so many funny stories to talk about, like coming back to bring America. It on, girl. That whole experience. <laughs> oh my God. Well, I just think when it rains, it bloody pours, right? Yes, it does. Every time there's just like shit going down. Yeah. It's just got to get like harder and harder and crazier and crazier <laughs> until you just end up like laughing on the floor, being like, what the fuck is going on? Anyway. Yeah. Um, so. Where shall I start? First of all, I'm going to tell this funny sex story. Oh my so, God. <laughs> so we, oh my God, this was so weird. Okay. But anyway, we had a birthday party for Bodhi mm-hmm. and he had like, 12 kids sleeping over and it was freaking nuts. I am telling you, insane. Like those boys were running from one end of our house to the other at like 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m. Shooting each other with (gasps) Nerf guns. In the middle of the night? In the middle of the night. Because Bodhi, I'm I'm so conscious of being like the cool mom and being the one that like doesn't embarrass him in front of his friends. So before bed, I was like, all right, guys, the adults are going to bed, but I'm going to just like let you know it's time to go to sleep. But if you guys want to stay up chatting, then you can a little bit, but like by 11 o'clock, you should go to sleep. And I had promised the parents, the other parents, I was like, I'm really going to try and make sure they get some sleep at least. <laughs> Anyway, not happening. I was like, oh, they're still giggling. Some of them are on their switches, on their devices. Oh, my God. And um, I said to Mark, hey, babe, I'm really tired. So I'm actually just going to go to sleep here. Um, But if you want to just be in charge of making sure they're all okay, that would be great. Um, so I, he was like, okay, whatever. Cause he goes to sleep a lot later than me. So yeah. I shoved my earplugs as far into my <laughs> like ear where it's dangerous. <laughs> I, literally like there's probably still half of them stuck in there. And I was like, good night, slept soundly. Oh but every now and then I would wake up like jolt awake with Mark being like, go to Stop sleep. It. He like became a monster. <laughs> <laughs> yelling, yelling from the bed, but he refused to get up and go and talk to them. <laughs> and I would roll over and look and it was like 2 a.m. And I'm like, oh, wow. And then I would roll over and look again, 4 a.m. I said, go to sleep, boys, please just go to sleep. <laughs> like with this like <laughs> panic cry <laughs> in his voice. <laughs> and he was like, I'm trying to sleep. And then I would hear Bodie being like, dad, don't. And then he'd run in and be like, don't be embarrassing. Please don't be embarrassing. Stop. And then I was like, Mark, don't just go out there. Just be like the cool dad. Just be like, all right, guys, you've had your fun. It's time to go to sleep. Anyway, we would be woken up, not me as much. I sort of slept quite well (laughs) that night, but Mark was really awake pretty much the whole night with these dudes running back and forth, like, like, shooting each other. One of them got shot in the face. One of them got hit with a bat at like 5.30 a.m. And then finally Mark was like, right. He got out there and he was like, everyone into bed now. Everyone. Like a drill sergeant. It was so wild. And Bodhi's still like, I'm really embarrassed that dad did that. And I was like, look, but why were they listening? (laughs) Yeah. Any other parent would be like, everyone's going home. If it's yeah. that late. And I was like, we gave you free reign because it's your 10th birthday. Everyone's going nuts. Later, I find out that one of the kids there was watching scary videos oh on YouTube God, and showing all the boys no. scary videos. Oh and I was gosh. like, my kid already has problems sleeping in his own room because he gets anxiety about scary things. And I know Bodhi. And I know that he would have been like, acting like it was no big deal that he wasn't scared but on the inside he would have been terrified 
And so we have dealt with the fallout <laughs> of the birthday party sleepover oh and the scary videos since. <gasps> and now I said to Mark, next time we do this, one of the adults, I know it's not the cool thing to do, but one of the adults has got to sleep out there. Like someone has got to sleep out there with mm-hmm. them so that we can tell everyone to go to sleep and not be watching videos. And And I was like, I should have just confiscated everyone's devices because yeah. a part of what he wanted was everyone to come and be able to play video games on the same game together, yeah. like at the same time sitting next to each other. And we're like, okay, that's fun. Like, sure, everyone can bring their game and they were all, they've been talking about it at school for weeks and weeks. Anyway, not only the fallout of the like, (laughs) the horror side of what they were watching, I don't exactly know what it was, but I'm pretty sure it involved Pennywise. Oh, God. (laughs) I know. I know. (laughs) And then after that, I was like, huh, Bodie, the next day, Bodie was like a, absolute zombie we yeah. went out to this party I showed you the video yeah he is falling asleep at the table oh he could not stay awake we had to go out to say goodbye to a friend of ours who was in town he knew and we saw, said to him this is a natural consequence if you don't go to sleep you'll be exhausted the next day he was fast asleep we we're at this Austra- like Aussie pub fast asleep was so exhausted and then there was this group chat with all the mums and they all sent photos of their kids sleeping oh in various places the next day. And the funniest one was this one kid who got picked up at 7.30 a.m. and he was one of the boys that got no sleep at all who just decided to pull an all-nighter. Oh my and he got picked up for his cricket game. No. And there is a photo of him in his all cricket whites asleep on a chair with his little white sunscreen across his face, (laughs) passed out with his little baggy hat on and he didn't play. He was just off on the side. And I was like, I am now that parent who I think no one's going to ever invite their kids to any of our sleepover parties because I'm the one that's like a little bit fun. I threw lollies out to them at like 11 PM just because I was like, we fun. Oh my God. I found some more candy guys. Woo! Like I was kind of reliving my youth and then not dealing with the ramifications of actually being the parent in this situation. Anyway. So that was quite a funny night. The next night we were so exhausted But we were like, let's get a little bit like randy, like, you know, I was just feeling it. I was like, "Mm, hubby's looking sexy. Like, okay, let's go for it. (laughs) We forgot to lock the door Uh -uh. and the kids were all asleep in their beds. Great. It was probably 11 o'clock and Bodie had passed out because he was so tired from the weekend. Um, We are kind of going for it and having fun and like, woo. And I'm just kind of letting loose and there's no one else, no other adults in the house um, because my mom sleeps up in the granny flat. And I was like, cool, I can just be unhinged. Like I'll just be free and wild and loud. Anyway, cut to in the middle, I've like, just being quite loud and I hear mommy (laughs) and I'm like what it's like mama mama (gasps) and I feel this hand on my bare bum stop it like a stroking (laughs) hand on my bare bum and I jump up and scream and Mark's like willies out we're like what is going on what poet has (gasps) snuck into the bed no. during sex no. and we do not know how long she was there so Stop. she was lying in this little ball like under the quilt while we were, like literally while we were going <gasps> for it I have not was she there the whole time was she there at the start okay if it was dark and you got and she was under the blanket does she like have any idea what was happening well the next day she was like she was like mom you were yelling so much and I was like oh my god I was having a dream like it was so weird I must have been having a dream and then um she was like no it sounded like the noise you made when you gave birth to prairie oh my god stop <laughs> it I cannot <laughs> it's like what she was like, yeah it was like you were birthing again I thought is mommy having a baby stop. I was like oh 
my God, mortified, mortified. Did she say it in front of any of the other kids, like the older ones? No, okay, just God. to me and Mark. Okay. Just to me and Mark, Mark dying like, inside? Mom, it was dying inside. <laughs> we were trying so hard not to laugh. So hard. And then I've, I've talked to her about it again, um, just to be like, is she feeling weird about it? Does she, I mean, thank God it was poet and not one of the older ones because she obviously doesn't understand what that is. Um, and then I just realized like, that is the reality of having so many kids and co-sleeping and having kids that come into your bed at nighttime. Like I know you guys are the same at your house. You have sleep piles. With, it's so hard to find time to be intimate in a way where you've actually got privacy. And I was like, I don't know how I'm ever going to feel fully confident that it's just us. I mean, I, I'm going to lock the door. <laughs> You're going to have to lock I'm the door. I'm definitely going to lock the door. <laughs> I know the, the lock here on this door does not work. So I was like, cool. Well, uh, we just won't have sex in America. That's just <laughs> what's going to happen. There will be no banging in America. Um, anyway, so that was a, that was a really crazy, crazy story. Um, happy 11, 11 right now. It's 11, 11. Oh, it is 11, 11, (laughs) 11, 11 girl. (laughs) Um, Me and Sarah. Wait, okay. (laughs) Wait, wait. I need to go back. We need it. I need a moment. Okay. So I need to go back to the, (laughs) the sleepover really quick (laughs) because first of all, like what? Like, I, like how, why did the how did those boys not go to bed <laughs> after Mark is like yelling at them to I would have been as a child if I was at a sleepover and someone's parent was yelling like you need to go to bed I would have been like oh my god I like never would have gotten up again <laughs> like how were they still nerf gunning in the middle of the night and did you talk about it to Bodie afterwards like this just like shows me that maybe you're not like capable of being <laughs> yes. a listener when it comes to like sleepover or like how did you handle that yeah I um God, I really do realize that I'm a bit of a big kid. Like Mark's like, what are you thinking? Giving them sugar at 11 p.m. Like why? And I was like, because I'm a cool mom. I'm a cool mom. I'm not thinking about health. Oh my God. I'm, I'm we need to get sleep. you. Isn't it, wasn't it um, Amy Poehler from Mean Girls? And she's mean like girls. in the track suit. What's the 411? What's the juicy gas? I am that bloody girl. I swear to God. I drove oh some God. of them from the big like sleep. Like we had like a slippery dip water slide thing during the day and we had to like divide and conquer who was driving the kids. And so I decided to take the kids that I know were like a little bit naughtier, a little bit whatever. I got the full goss on the drive up to our house. It's like, what's the goss guys? Like who's dating who? And the, I had a girl sitting next to me and she gave me the full rundown and hearing them all talk about who's dating who and who like, who and like but she doesn't actually have a crush on you back so that doesn't count and I was like what oh even God. is it like what have I stepped into but I again I was trying to be like Amy Poehler like what's the 411 like tell me oh my god <laughs> did they break up already I thought they were still together anyway <laughs> it was so and Mark fully called me out he's like you're having too much fun you think you're one of the kids I, w- I kept him like coming up with cool ideas but sometimes they weren't that cool like I was like oh let's play murder in the dark I mean you guys should play murder in the dark like <laughs> you guys should and I was like oh spotlight we can get torches and oh why don't we go down to the, the ghost house and I could see Bodhi sort of side eyeing me to be like is mom being cool or is she being embarrassing and he was like oh yeah she's been cool that's cool oh so my god I didn't want to lose my so cool funny. status um so then Uh, because Bodhi came up to me and was like, mom, I told all the kids there was going to be so much candy here and like, we've got no candy. And I was like, right, okay. On a mission, found like an old show bag with all this candy and was like, here you go, kids, like 11 p.m. And Mark's like, what the hell? And then he was the one (laughs) up with them all night while I was like, anyway, good night. Peace (laughs) out. (laughs) Shove the earplugs in like, oh, wow, I had a great sleep. Oh, my God. Uh, There's a little insight. Yes, (laughs) that is so great. And I mean, 
That's hysterical. I don't know. I feel like I'm I'm like the opposite. <laughs> yes, you you and Eric are like much more sensible. I'm like I need <laughs> to go to sleep. If I had a bunch of kids in my house and they were up, I'd be like, cool. So you guys are going home, and <laughs> I'm calling all of your parents. <laughs> if you do not go to sleep right now, uh, then I'm calling your moms and dads. Do you need me well, to like like what do we need to do? That's what happened at the other sleepover because there was a simultaneous sleepover another uh, girl in the year had 12 girls sleepover or maybe yes. not that many like eight and so we were going to coordinate the boys sleepover and the girls sleepover we we're going to meet up at some point but then I spoke to that mum the next day and I was like oh how did yours go did yours get any sleep and she was like yeah they did they actually did get some sleep and in my head I was like oh, it's, oh well the girls are different they don't have the testosterone <laughs> but then she was like no I just threatened that they would all have to go home and I would call all of their parents at about 1am and then they fell asleep. I was like, right. So that works. That definitely works. <laughs> <laughs> I remember like a sleepover that I went to, a bunch of the girls were like mean to me or something. And I remember like crying so hard in the bathroom <sighs> that I woke up one of the parents. And <sighs> then, I mean, we were so young at that point. Like I was, I feel like we were younger than like Bodie's age. And she was like, do you want me to call your mom? And I was like, no, it's fine. You know, and I finally like ended up going to sleep and I was like, I'm never doing that again. <laughs> and then um, and then I had a sleepover at my house and the kids, everybody wanted to make these like potions. Now our kids will call them like potions, but mm-hmm. we were like making this like crazy thing and like everybody had to try it. So it was like paprika and hot peppers and like pepper, what? like all this stuff. And we we're putting it into a bowl with oh water and then everybody had to try it. We were We stayed up watching like the Three Stooges was like the only thing on in the middle of the night. So we were like watching the Three Stooges and like everybody had to chase this like super hot spicy thing. And at some point my dad came out and was like, you guys have to go to bed. And it was like (laughs) 1130 at night. And finally we went to bed at like 1130, which seemed crazy. So anyway, I just like hearing this first trickle of like our kids in the sleepover era. And I'm like, oh yeah, no, I'm going to have some hard. There's going to be like, if you guys don't go to sleep, your mom and dad are going to be sitting outside. They're not could be happy. <laughs> yeah, they're going to be pissed at you. I know. Anyway. And Bodie and Forrest had a sleepover party the following weekend as well. And oh, wow. again, no sleep. But Bodie did not sleep at that party either. Oh, and I was wow. like, dude, didn't you, don't you see how yeah. rough you felt? Like natural consequences once again. And we have plans the next day, which we're going to continue going to. Oh, anyway. So with both, you've been a bit sick and my family has been sick, which I have gone on the longest run without illness with these kids that I think I have ever had. Like I think we have not had a cold or sickness or anything. I would say for at least six, seven months. Like we, for whatever reason, I'm like, oh my God, I'm hearing about everyone getting sick. And I'm like, oh God, we're just like loving it. Like life's great. We're not getting sick at all. Um, but then cut to the day before we are leaving to essentially relocate <laughs> to LA. Oh no. Um, Prairie like looks a little off. Oh dear. Oh, <laughs> and I was no. like, huh, what's going on? Cut to like, I, I'm at work. So I leave to go to work and I have the craziest last two days of filming, like the longest hours in water, freezing cold in water, like, ugh, like shaking. I just had so much going on anyway. But Mark's texting me these updates and she was like, she's gone down hard. Oh, no. And it's all because he thought it was because she had cow's milk and she's never had cow's milk in her entire life. Yeah. And I had quickly ordered them smoothies before pickup and said like, Mark, pick them up. They'll be ready. They were milkshakes. And I specifically said, we're vegan, we're vegan, oat milk, soy, whatever you have, vegan milk. Anyway, so the kids start drinking them and they're all like, whoa, this tastes gross. Like, oh, I can, Bodhi was like, I can taste a nipple. And Mark was like, (laughs) 
<laughs> no, it's like, what? Well, I guess if you haven't had cow's milk in a really long time, there are, especially if it's like a really great like whole milk or something, it has like a not like like there's always like a, a sense of a barn. Like it's yeah, like, like, am like I tasting a, like the barn or like am I tasting the smell bodily, of like a hoof? <laughs> yeah, like a real bodily fluidy thing. Oh and he was God. like, Mom, like FaceTime me at work. You you put cow's milk in it. I was like, I did not. It was not me. I was like, obviously, I don't know what happened. Like we rang the restaurant to like triple check and they're yeah. like, no, 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 it was vegan. Anyway, Mark's like, it was definitely not vegan. Cut to Prairie spewing her guts up. Oh, like bleh, 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 spewing everywhere. I'm at work and I'm an hour away. So Mark's not going to drive her to breastfeed. And so she's getting like progressively worse throughout the oh. day. I finally get home and she's like listless and just so um, like pale. And so I'm shoving my boob in her mouth and I just let her the whole night drink breast milk, but she would drink and spew. You know, when they're like that, yes. when it's like they have the tiniest bit of fluid and they spew. Yeah. So yeah. it was like in bed after the longest day ever of work. And I'd wrapped out and I was like, woo, like on a high, like hugging everyone goodbye. Like, oh my God, it was such a great experience. Uh, like straight into like World War Three at home where oh it's just geez. like people, are, like kids are up late. The house has just exploded. Everyone's like, Mark's grumpy and every it's just I'm like oh Ugh. like I've gone from like high vibes like yes. see you guys what an experience like ah uh. and I wrapped right at 11 11 p.m. <gasps> Stop it I know right at 11 11 and I was like oh my god I looked at my phone I was like I wrapped at 11 11 that's and insane I know and we'd had boba tea at work anyway it was really good come home. I'm like, kids still up in bed. What's happening? Like everyone's sleeping in the bed. And I was like, okay, mom needs to come back and like sort this mess. What's going on? I have the worst night ever with Prairie, just like puking, vomiting, Ugh. diarrhea-ing in the bed, like just like in the bed oh, everywhere. No. Um, oh, and I was like, we need to get, we need to like, cause never in her life has she had a uh, nappy at night time. So I was like, we don't even have nappies. I don't even know where to get, like, it's 11 PM. We just had to wrap her up in towels and just, she oh, would just, it was God. awful. And then the next day she wasn't as bad. Okay. So I was like, okay, I think maybe it's okay. Giving her some more sips. She's sleepy, whatever. Didn't have the sunken eyes anymore. Like she was perking up a bit. And I was like, okay, I had a hair appointment to get my hair, my um, bangs cut, but also my hair to go back blonde because this, by the time this comes out, I would have already gone. But um, I had all these Oscars parties coming out up. And so I was getting my hair blonded anyway. So I was like, should I still go to this appointment or not? If I didn't go, so it was being paid for by production because they – took out the blonde for the show. So they yeah. have to return your hair back to the way it was. But if I didn't go, there would be like, I would have to pay out of pocket when I get to LA. And so I was like, let's just wait and see. The appointment wasn't till midday. And she was like, didn't vomit nothing. She was doing really well. So I was like, okay, I think you can go. Bring her to me if you feel like she needs to nurse. Yeah. So Mark walks in like hot dad all tatted up with his four little blonde kids, like all the girls in the hairdressing salons, like, oh my God, it's so sweet. Like, oh, what a cute little fam. And I was like, yeah, solo dad over there, like having fun parading his kids around. He really loves the attention he gets when he walks <laughs> around with like on his own or with his four little kids. He loves oh it. God. And it's like, babe, you have no idea. You have no, I mean, women literally would throw themselves at me. You should have said, I know. And he's just, he like gets high off of it. Yeah. I'm anyway. like, Eric, you can't go to the park with all the kids. You can't. The moms just are going to love you. Way too, much. Too, too much attention. <laughs> I know. So he's like, oh, like feeling himself, whatever. Oh Walks into God. the hairdressers, <sighs> passes me prairie. Then he's like, oh, I'll go get you some breakfast. I'll go, um, not breakfast, lunch. I'll go get you lunch. 
I'll grab some juices or whatever and then I'll come back and grab her and, you know, take the kids to the, to the playground or something. And I was like, okay, perfect husband. Like, you seem amazing. Oh and the God. hairdresser's like, oh, my God, where did you find him? Stop you know? it. And I was Stop. like, he's like ordered him from the up. universe. <laughs> yeah, I did actually. Yeah, Wrote the universe catalog. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then so Prairie is nursing and, and I was like, oh, just feeling the vibes. I'm like, life is good, you know, cute little girl having her boobs. Oh, my God. Anyway, then she's like, she sits up and smiles at me. Oh, and no. then oh, no. <laughs> into my face. Stop my it. hair was in foils at the time. <gasps> A projectile vomit of no. all my breast milk. It splattered me in the face, like no. in my cheek, into the back of my throat, <laughs> dripping off of my lips. Oh, my God, I'm dying. All through my hair that she's about to start blonding. Worst part, on her face. Stop! <laughs> no. She's behind me and it literally hits. Oh, my God, oh. if you're listening, but Melinda, thank you so much for being such a trip because it, like, smashes onto my face, into my mouth, dripping down into my tits, oh my all through God. my hair. No, no. But then I see it all on her chin and Stop. I was like, I... I don't You're know dying. what to say. You're dying I was like, oh. and there's this older because it was a, it's a very luxury hairdresser. Yeah, <laughs> and there's oh this guy, <laughs> much older woman who's like very wealthy because right I was sort of you. eavesdropping right next to me. Yeah, and the vomit splattered right at her feet, like no. <laughs> like literally splashed up, and I was like. I, I don't, I'm so, I don't know what to say. My whole outfit's drenched. It's all over Prairie. She starts scream crying, like writhing. Oh my like, God. Oh. And I was like, oh my God. And you have foils. My, so I you can't foils. go anywhere. I've they got have foils to- everywhere oh my in my God. hair. And she's like, don't worry, I'll get you. And then everyone's rushing over, trying to get towels and mop me up. You're like, I Mark, like, get back here right now. I rang him and I was like, mayday, mayday. And I was like, you need to come here right now. You need to get her. She's covered in vomit. I'm covered in vomit. She vomited on someone. And then, and then of course, I was like, I'm so sorry. It's not gastro. It's not gastro. It's it's this milk. This She's lactose intolerant. I just, and then I'm telling the lady next to her, like, she just had cow's milk and she, she's a vegan. She's never had cow's milk before and it upset her stomach. Ah. Anyway, like oh my God. for fuck's sake, like the most mortifying thing. She, Melinda, the hairdresser, is unbelievable. She's like mopping it out of my oh, hair. I was oh. like, please stop touching any, let me grab everything. I'll put it, I'll put it straight in your laundry. Oh my God. I just felt so awful. And then we, Mark comes and is like, I'm so sorry. He's trying to mop everything up. Like that's when everything all falls apart. And like the kids are like, Wah! and Mark's still like, you know, solo, cool dad, uh, hot dad, still trying to handle <laughs> everything. And I was like, it's fine. Like we can all be stressed out. It's actually kind of hilarious that the oh reality is just here. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, but it was it was so nuts. And here's the sad thing. What? It she wasn't lactose intolerant. She what? was gastro. Like it was <gasps> no. full blown gastro. So now I'm like, is Melinda? Is she okay? She's sick. Oh my god! Did she like is pass Melinda, it on to Melinda, her little children? Are you children? in bed right now? Are you in bed Melinda, listening to this? I'm so sorry. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, Tez, did you guys? Is this norovirus? Is it? You know how like everywhere you read right now, like norovirus is like raging oh. across all the everywhere. It's like it, it's I like I think that's, I think that's what it's called. Like a, norovirus, like a stomach yes. virus, right? Um, well, because I've got like my bestie hotline that I can reach out to Cat. Is everyone sick? Who's going to come on the podcast? But uh, yeah, basically what ended up happening was, so I reached out to Kat and I was like, I do not think this is like, she's not lactose intolerant. Like what's going on? And I, I kept giving her all these updates because then she got really dehydrated. Oh, and I remember no. a few years ago, oh, not a few years ago. Oh my God. Seven years ago now when Bodhi was three, do you remember when he almost had to get airlifted out of yes. Hamilton Island yes, yes, for dehydration because he had been vomiting so much. And I was like, I'm looking at this little girl's face and I'm like, I'm back there in Hamilton Island being like, 
do we need, does she need IV fluids? Does she? So I was constantly sending videos and texts to Kat, who's one of my best mates. Uh, and guys, you will love her when she comes on the podcast. She's just bloody amazing. And now she's a motivational speaker. Anyway, so she's a paramedic. She like teaches child first aid and she's my go-to all the time. And so she sends me this really good resource, which is doctors online that you can FaceTime with in yeah. Australia. Oh, and you wow. can literally just FaceTime with doctors and be like, here, you know, how is she doing? And she was touch and go. Like she was potentially going to have to go to hospital because she hadn't peed for 15 hours. Oh. And if it hit the 16 hour mark, we were going to take her in. But that was the day before we were flying out to America. Oh my gosh. And I was like, what are we what are we going to do? Like, we can't take her on the plane like this. And thank God, the universe, how crazy is this? Our flight was delayed 15 hours. No way. Oh my God. 15 gosh. hours. Like, not one hour. It was 15 hours delayed. Oh, so wow. she had that whole next day oh, wow. to recover. To recover. Oh. And by the time we got on the airplane the next night, she was almost a hundred percent. Oh my gosh. But I had like a nappy on her. I like had sent Mark with like so many changes of clothes for the kids just in case. And everyone was fine until we got, we landed back here and we got to our house and had the most insane thing happened. Like we got in, like, woo, we're back at the house. And then um, Forrest was like, mm, my tummy hurts a bit. Oh, no. And I was like, oh, God. And then he was like, mom, there's someone at the door. It was 9 p.m. We had just got in. We had landed like a couple of hours before. And that we've got 10 suitcases trying to unpack. Like I'm so exhausted. We've hardly slept, so exhausted. Um, and there's these two dudes burly guys standing at our front door. One of them has one eye, no. but the eye is on his cheek. Just his what? one eye is on his cheek. Okay. Yeah. Th- he must've been in some accident. Um, and standing there and he's like, we're here to get the car. <laughs> and I was what? like, what? <laughs> I think you're at the wrong house. And I'm like, Teresa Palmer. <laughs> that was like, <laughs> like, that's me. Yes. Oh my God. What has happened? What? And he was no, like, what? we're here to repossess the car. What car? Like, repossess the car? What are you talking about? And they're like, you're Tesla. And I was like, what? Why? And he was like, um, you haven't paid. And I was like, yes, I have. And then Here's the problem. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, my God. What is this? Here's Don't the freaking worry. problem. Yeah. So, Mark oh, and no. I had someone who used to pay all of our bills, right, for us all the time. Yes. So, then we took on, I took on the admin and we got this, like, email that I was telling everyone about, blah, 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 Good. where we pay all the bills. But Mark <laughs> had the Tesla app on his phone. And so I wasn't getting the Tesla bills to the the normal bill email. What? I guess Mark didn't check it, but the Tesla app had our expired credit card on it and it had our old home address. So they were sending letters to Deronda, which is where I used to live in LA, just over and over, like all these letters. And then Mark missed a call from our old neighbor the other day. And then he all pieced it together afterwards. These guys obviously come to the house because all of our Tesla, um, just all the data, not data, what's the word? All the Tesla documents were being sent to our old house which is like five minutes down the road from us. So we weren't getting any letters saying that the credit card was expired. Mark obviously hadn't been checking the app. We've been living in Australia, not thinking about the car. I'm just assuming like the monthly repayments are going through on our, on our credit card. Yeah. Not thinking about it. Cause I'm dealing with all of the, um, our email bills. I pay all of those. (laughs) And so I was like, you're wrong to the guys I was like, no, 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 you're wrong. Like what? And then he shows me and I'm like, Mark, what? 
no, oh my fuck. god <laughs> and the kids were like what's happening and I was like oh my god I'm so, we just got back from Australia literally an hour ago and then Forrest is like Bleh. like <gasps> spews all over no. the floor as the guys are here and I was like I said to Mark, I am not dealing with this. You need to deal with this. You need to figure this out. And I run and I'm like trying to mop up the, oh the vomit and everyone's yeah. crying. And then <laughs> Mark somehow <laughs> tries, somehow talks these guys down off a ledge. He's like, yo, guys, I'm from the hood. Okay. I get it. But we have money. We are ca- I'll pay you right now. You want Stop cash? It. You want cash? You want? <laughs> but anyway, we had to then empty the car out because I was like, this is a disgrace. I was so mad at Mark because I somehow blamed him, even though it wasn't really his fault. Um, but I was like, you know, the admin, like, come on, you're the one with the app. So oh we ended God. up, he convinced them not to take our car. He was like, look, my kid's puking. We've just got in from Australia. Like, look at our bank account. We have more than enough money to pay. Like, this is just an oversight. It's been going to our old address. We had an old credit card. I'm so sorry. Like, please just let me deal with this and I'll pay it right. I'll show you right now. I'll pay it right now. So he, in front of them, he paid it and they were like, all right, but we'll be back at 10. We'll be back at 10 a.m. So you need to ring and like make sure that, this is all cleared up. So I said to Mark, I went to bed and I was like, Forrest is puking, puking everywhere. And all the kids are sleeping in the bed. And I'm like, what is happening? I said to Mark, so tomorrow I will be on child duty. I'll be taking care of sick children. This is what I'm doing. What you're doing is you're ringing around to all the different places. You're going to make sure that all the the right credit cards are in check. You're going to ring every single place. You're going to make sure we're totally squared away with everything. You got to ring Tesla. You got to, and he freaking did like he, the next day he was like, set an alarm on with Tesla at like 7.30 a.m. being like, you need, this is our new address and this is our new credit card and our lease is, you know, is up in a couple of weeks. Like, let's discuss the next car and did it with like the other car that's just been sitting there for eight months and like our lease is almost up and we've got old registration tags on it. So I was like, you need to do this tomorrow (laughs) and you need to get this sorted and I'm putting it all over to you. I am doing none of it. I'm just going to be with the kids. And this is, this is going to be my duty because I had said to him about two months ago, I was like, I'll handle all the Australian stuff. You do the American stuff. And I'll have a little, like, I'll look at it to make sure it's all good. But my main focus is like all of our Australian bills. And so then I was like, these are all American. So you're going to have, you're doing all of the admin with the American stuff. And he had a full day of sorting it all out. Oh my gosh. I know it was wild. And then everyone was up with jet lag and then like poet woke up and was like, Bleh, no. in the morning wow. and then Paula starts spewing <laughs> <laughs> so I was like oh my god when it rains it pours wait did you get it a diarrhea I'd re- I had the most like diarrhea most foul like two two days ago like water I would not even no solid like and every I'm telling you every five minutes like boom oh my boom. god what about Bodie did every did it go no, through Bodhi everyone didn't get Bodie never gets it he has this like stomach of steel every time wow. we've ever had gastro he never 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 gets it it's so weird oh my gosh I know so he didn't get it but that next day when poet vomited that day I was like oof my stomach feels off and oh, then no. me and Forrest and Poet slept almost the whole day. And P- a Prairie was obviously much better. Bodhi was fine. So Mark just hung out with those two kids. And I like, we put all the blackout blinds down and we slept kind of all day. And I'd just run back and forth and I'd change all the vomit. Like everyone had their own like little bowl next to them. <laughs> and oh I just kept changing gosh. the vomit and the bile <gasps> and, the, and then pooing. What? and. <laughs> 
jeez, oh, you I guys know. really like landed with a bang. Like that is. <laughs> I said to my, I walked out at one point where I was so dehydrated and I'd been like pooing all day. And I was like, this is officially rock bottom. <laughs> oh my God. You Get mean me rock bottom here. wasn't when the repo man was at your door at 1130 yes. at night? <laughs> I am Teresa Palmer. Oh, oh God. my God. That, that sounds like a joke. Like, I, like someone, <laughs> especially since they show up at 11 p.m. You're like, do they it do wasn't, that? It wasn't 11 p.m. It was like... 9 30 10 p.m but it was so but late still, that's so it's late scary. i'm like my house is off limits after 7 30 we're in yeah. bed you know i was like and of what? course i was all How embarrassed dare. about the neighbors like i was like oh my god i wanted to yell like no this isn't what it seems this is just a mistake <laughs> <laughs> but actually it's exactly what it looks oh like i was like <laughs> they're just our friends they're t- taking out car for a car wash um <laughs> it may, you know what it, it makes me think of uh, um, oh my God, was it called Paddington? That amazing movie Paddington. But just like how chaotic their house was, like, you know, the like bathtub's <laughs> overflowing, the bear's like eating everything. Like it's like, it's total chaos. But like the, oh. the repo man's at your door, like Forrest is throwing up in the hallway. You're like, no, everything's <laughs> fine. And then you're it's like, no, it's good. <laughs> Everyone's jet lagged. It is just, it was so nuts and like I think the me just going out like dead eyes like trying to take the car seats out of the car and like staring at Mark like giving him like such devil eyes and I'm yeah. pulling out my kids artwork from the car and the guy's like you don't have to clean it and I was like oh, oh my god please just go away <laughs> but That's- actually props to them because I don't think they're allowed to just not take a car no matter what the situation they have to take it they have to take it so the fact that they didn't like mark was like yeah i spoke to them like a bro you know and i was like <laughs> okay all right and he, he did he did end up saving the day so instead of me being pissed off at him which i definitely was i kind of was like all right cool man props <laughs> Oh my God, that is bananas. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, that, I'm really glad you're home. And let me just hope that you, no one else gets sick and you can like have a nice, couple of days of uh of just like getting back on your feet because traveling is always insane, but like that is some major sauce. Like that's yeah, insane. Baby. That's insane. I kept thinking, oh, this is really good stuff for the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I think about that all the time. I'm like, oh my God. Okay. I have to remember this or I have yeah. to write it down because I, I got it down. I've I got to tell the stories. daisies. I got to tell the daisies. Got to tell the daisies. <laughs> um, all right, guys. Well, we're so glad you joined us for this, um, <laughs> this chaotic episode. <laughs> Poor Teresa. Um, But we're so glad that you're back on uh, U.S. soil and we love you so much. And Daisies, thank you for listening. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever you listen to podcasts. And if you feel so inclined to share with your other friends um, our podcast, we would love to see it. And we'll repost you on Instagram. Um, And that's it. We'll see you next week. Love you, Daisies. Bye. Bye.